Philadelphia police, as we mentioned, they are investigating a series of ATM explosions overnight. In this video from 7th and Girard, you can see at least three people there set the explosive, run away, and then go back to that ATM. And all, police say vandals tried to blow up at least 10 ATMs overnight. And a botched attempt left one person dead. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Center City this afternoon. And Matt, the National Guard there, we see they are behind you. Have those soldiers been able to help police deal with this recent surge in crime? Well, Philadelphia police tell us even with all this extra backup that those vandals are moving so quickly from crime scene to crime scene that catching up with them can be difficult. Now, take a look at the strength of the National Guard behind me here right outside of Philadelphia City Hall. These are soldiers protecting people against their own citizens. You can see some Humvees in the background as well. Well, last night, the city saw another wave of chaos. Crime scenes now scattered across Philadelphia. Chopper 3 was over West Susquehanna Avenue and North 2nd Street in Kensington around 6 o'clock Tuesday morning, just after the bomb squad was called in after an ATM explosion rocked this neighborhood. Police say a man tried using an explosive device to blow up this ATM by Sidekick Sports Bar, but when the vice went off, Someone was thrown to the ground with serious injuries. That person was rushed to a nearby hospital and died. Police say the explosive device never penetrated the ATM safe. Meantime, there have been several other ATM explosions across Philadelphia overnight. Over by 7th and Girard in Fishtown, an eyewitness captured these three people running around a corner before we see dust and debris fly into the air. The three then run into the smoke and the video ends. Eyewitness News was also at Amber Street and East Allegheny Avenue in Kensington, where an ATM was blown apart. The main component pried open. Hold this dummy over here. And two ATM machines looked like they were blown up at 61st and Woodland in Southwest Philly. A butcher from the shop tells us at some point the shop was looted overnight, the safe and cash register stolen, but the owner of the store was taken into custody. Everything was going on. They were they were out here like it was mobs of people out here. And they got in pretty much every store, the Dunkin' Donuts, the jewelry store, the Metro. It was a complete madhouse out here. I was in shock, and I'm going on 53, so I haven't seen a lot. Nothing like that. And the hashtag Philly Explosions is now trending on Twitter. And Janelle, former Vice President Joe Biden, left Philadelphia City Hall a short time ago after making an address here. Matt, another busy night for Philadelphia police. Thanks so much.